What up players, it's Warboss Tail for this bug. Welcome to a take 5 video on how to use Lamy and Medium to make lasers. So here I'm making a wet palette here. I've got a plastic clamshell with some water at the bottom, strip of parchment paper, and we're gonna get started. The reason why I wanted to show you ooh, a little water spill there. The reason why I wanted to show you how to make the wet palette first is because I I think when you're making a glaze, you gotta have the wet palette to keep the um, keep the moisture of the paint and the glaze ready to go. And so we're using Lamian Medium with Emperor's Children to make pink glaze that we're going to use for our uh, Terranid Hormagant. And uh, Farron Adams actually has a great recipe if you check out the link on my onto my How to Paint a Hormagant kit. He, he shows a really good way of, of making the ratio for the paint to the medium. I'm kind of just eyeballing it here by putting down four paint brush tips worth of, of Lamian Medium and then mixing the paint in as I go. And you can also do this with water. I've tried using water before to make a glaze and uh, that, that works fine as well, but Lamian Medium is really made for it. So here you can see the Hormagon's head is this purple color and I'm just really loading the brush up, putting it down and then uh, drying off my brush and then spreading it out. The, the trick about using a glaze is you don't want to, if you have too much pigment, it's going to change the color completely. And that's not what we want. We don't want to change the color completely from purple to pink. We want it just to have a good pink overtone because we are going to turn this back into a purple shade with the Drukai Violet wash later. What we're doing here is we're simply lightening the, the tone and taking it from a straight purple into more of, of a dynamic, really awesome looking uh, pink purple, which I just did not care for back in the 90s, um, but or, or even when I took pick up the brush again, but I just think right now it's, it's cool to achieve these crazy 90s heavy metal studio style looks. So there you go. A little bit of Lamian Medium into your paints should do you for any kind of glaze. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you, and there he is. Okay, in the second part of this Take 5 video, I'm going to show you how you can use Rust Gray with Lamian Medium to make a wash more than a, a, or more of a wash kind of glaze. So here we've got straight white on the back of this Farseer, and it's just white, no shading at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Rust Gray mixed with Lamian Medium to make a glaze that we can uh, then highlight back up from. So when you're using such a, a stark color as white, like there's really, you can't go any, any higher than white, but you want to bring it back down and shade it. A lot of people will shade with, with gray or brown. Uh, Rust gray has a very nice bluish tone to the gray, so it uh, gives you a, a nice cool shading to build back up from. And uh, so I'll link, I'll link to my um, other video. Actually, you know what I'll do instead of linking to, to the other video or Farron's comment is in case it gets lost, I'll copy Farron's comment and post it in the description to this video. So check out Farron's comment. Farron Adams is a great guy and uh, great participant in the community and you can check out how he does glazes and mixes his pigments. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to show you what it looks like to have it right here. With a couple layers of highlighting you can get a great effect using glazes to help you shade. Thanks for watching everybody! Latest players!